What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy, some, some, some. Hit the keys here today to bring you guys a quick review and demonstration over Monster Drum. It's basically a drum rompler VST plugin. It's got different kits for all kinds of different genres from EDM to hip hop to rock, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content, you drop a whole elbow on that like button. Hit subscribe and that notification bell so every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to find out. But let's go ahead and get right into this review. Some, some, some. Hit the key. All right, guys. So I brought you to the website first. Um, basically, with this plugin, it has 18 different expansion packs. So you do have to download the Monster Drum plugin and then you have to download all of the expansion packs separately. Um, basically, they're telling you, though, it's got uh, different drum kits for jazz, acoustic music, hip hops, um, all kinds of different stuff. So um, in order to download it, you're just going to scroll down here and then you're just going to download whichever one that you want. Um, it'll pop up down here in the corner in your downloads, and then you're going to have to drop the file into your VST or your Steinberg folder. Um, the reason why I'm showing you this is because then as you continue to scroll down, you'll see all the separate kits here. So you'll just hit the, the link download here, um, and it'll take you to a media file, um, and then you'll just download it from right there, um, and then you'll be able to have it. So once I got everything downloaded, I basically created a file in my VST plugins folder. You can either use your VST plugins folder, your Steinberg folder, wherever you keep your plugins. And I took everything from this download folder uh, from the Windows and I just dragged it over into this monster file and I copied it over there. Um, and so then what you're going to do next is you're going to go to all the instruments. So they're all download and they'll all download and tell you like the numbers. So it'll be like um, 18 or 04 or stuff like that. And then you're just going to drag this and copy this over here. And then boom, it'll be in the instrument folder. And so once you search for it and find it, it'll appear in your, your monster drums. So I didn't have that one in there initially. So you still have 17. I just added 18 in order to make it show up, you know, just save it um, and then exit and open it back up. And when you open a FL studio back up, um, it'll be there for you. And so then you see, as we open FL studio back up, bam, it's right there for me, the 18th kit. So when you open up the plugin, it's going to look like this. Um, so it's going to have the drums right here. And then some of the kits have more than the initial 12 drums. Um, so you can see them all here. Um, they'll play as you know, on your keyboard. So, or you can play them by hitting the pad with the mouse. Um, so as you see, this first kit is basically a pop slash rock kit. Um, it's got reverb, it's got filter. So then you'll see over here, you can scroll through each one of the drums. Um, and let's say I click on this snare and I change the volume to that snare. It'll only change the volume to that one snare. So as you can see, like if I go to a rim shot or something, it changed it to whatever it has the, the volume at initially for that rim shot or that snare or whatever the instrument is that you're playing. Um, you can pan instruments. It's got an attack release that you can control for each uh, parameter of each drum. Um, and then it has MIDI out, so you can route all these to a different MIDI as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just play uh, this little basic pattern that I have so that you guys can hear it. And then I'll mess with the reverb and the filter a little bit so that you can hear what it sounds like. So it's got a bunch of different kits and that's what makes this pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go to my favorite kit first. My favorite kit is this kit right here uh, for whatever reason, because it's in like a Nintendo kit or it's like some kind of video game kit. Uh, but this one's my favorite one so far. And so it's got all kinds of different noises. So that's pretty dope. You know, if you're into making any kind of chiptune music or video game type music, that one's a pretty fire kit. So I skipped ahead. I'm going to go back to some of the other kits at the beginning. Uh, they got this kit right here. They call it the Coca-Cola kit. 
Um, and basically this kit right here is for hip hop, um, R and B boom bap and stuff like that. And it sounds like this. So it does have some pretty high quality sounding drums in my personal opinion. These kits are all made by different people as well, which is pretty cool. So each different kit, it'll tell you the kit name um, and then it'll tell you who the kit maker is. So if you want to check them out, you can go check them out on IG or whatnot. Uh, this is a hardcore metal kit right here. So. And then it's got a bunch more sounds as well. We'll just go through uh, each kit though, whatever is on the, on the drum pad. Um, and so this right here is basically, um, sounds like the Lindrum drum kit used in the eighties and nineties. So it's basically a drum machine. It's for more like new wave type music, they say. It's not bad at all. Um, we got here, this is for Synthwave and Cyberpunk. Um, it's called Groovebox Story Kit. Let's check this one out. So I can't stress enough. I like how the GUI changes for each one of the different drum kits as well. I think that's pretty fire. Um, so right here we have, uh, it's called Dang Dret. I don't know what that is, but we're gonna go ahead and check it out. Um, <laughs> that's kind of fire. Look, I didn't even know I needed those drums in my life until I just heard them. Um, and then this one's pretty cool too, because when you tap this one, you know what I'm saying? You're tapping the drum kit. It's pretty fire. Um, so this is just an all around kit, he says. I bet you can hit everything on this. You can even click the sticks, you know, so it's pretty solid, pretty solid. You can even hit this bucket, you know what I'm saying? You get everything there. So it's pretty solid. Um, this is a Mandarin rock one. fire you know so you just get some different sounds than what you're getting in your typical kits too with these which is pretty solid as well so um you know this isn't a bad plugin at all in my my opinion uh, this is an acoustic kit for pop rock And don't forget if it's too reverb for you, you can just turn the reverb down. So, um, you know, you can do what you want with that. Um, so we'll go ahead and hit this next kit up. And so this kit right here is for EDM.
kit right here is another acoustic kit. It's pretty dope, as you can see. You know, you can hit all this stuff. So it's not bad. Here's a popping jazz kit right here. This is for dark music. This one right here is pretty solid. But this is cool because you hit each one of these boxes. kit is solid right there that's a kit right there you didn't even know you needed it until you heard it so um you know i, I would definitely recommend checking that one out here's a reggae kit so it's pretty solid And then they got a ton more sounds that you can go through as well. A lot of these kits have a ton of sounds too that you can go through as well. Um, so keep that in mind too uh, when you are checking this out. Um, this right here is a trash metal kit. So we already did 16, that was the video game one. I like that one a lot. Um, so we'll go ahead and shoot on over to 17. Um, and this one, um, I'll just hit these drums. It's only a few of them in this one. Um, so it's like pop or unplugged music. That's all you get for that one. Um, and then the last one right here, I haven't heard yet because I was waiting to download it to the video. So we'll check this one out. It's punk slash ska. So that does sound like does sound like some ska drums. So that's monster drums for you. I'm definitely glad I came across this little drum rompler. Um, I would definitely recommend swooping it up, especially if you make a few different genres or you're just looking to switch up your drums or find some different kind of perks. This might be the plugin for you. Uh, comment down below and let me know what you guys think about this plugin. I'll definitely leave the link to it below in the description. Uh, but make sure if you guys like this content, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some hit the key.